I'm preaching in the kitchen and the Lord tastes good. Oh, taste that. Oh, See? Tastes good. Cooking with the word, I got the spiritual food. That the Lord is good. good. So can I get a witness? Won't you taste and see? Taste and see. I'm preaching in the kitchen. Come on in and join me. Come and join me. Preaching in the kitchen. Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness up in here? Yeah. Happy New Year. And welcome to Preaching in the Kitchen. I'm your host, the Gospel Gourmet, Brother Baines, and I'd like to introduce you to a new member of our show. He's my son, Matthew, but we're going to call him Skillet. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Glad to have you with us, son. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're so thankful that God has blessed us to see another year, and I know we all have great hopes for uh, this, this, this year. And son, now tell me, what are your plans for this year? Well, I'm going to high school, so I'm looking forward to that. High school. Mm. Calculus, trigonometry, chemistry, straight A's. Man, I can imagine you right now, valedictorian of your graduating class. Girls, Dad. Girl? Hey, yeah, I know that's right. But that's what I was focusing on in high school. <laughs> now, plans are great. We all have plans. You have plans for this year. Yes. I have plans. You have plans. We all have plans, but we've got to remember that the most important thing that we should be planning is what we're going to do for God because God willed us into seeing this new year. And so the things that we should do now, it should be according to God's will. Mm -hmm. Now, we have a lot of tradition here in the South. And one of the biggest traditions here during New Year mm -hmm. is black eyed peas. Yeah. Uh, black eyed peas, hog jaw, hog maw, and all that other stuff that uh, people for years have been adding in that really brings out the flavor and so forth. But one of the important things that uh, we should be focusing on also is our health. Yeah. And so we want to uh, still do the black eyed peas, but we want to look at doing them a little healthier. It's, it's going to still taste good, but it's going to also help you to get healthy, trim, fit, and, and so forth for the new year so that God can really use you. Are you ready to cook, son? Yes, sir. All right. Well, then let's get started. Yeah. Okay, Skillet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put you to work, man. All right. All right. Ready. All right. Good. Good. Now, first of all, we are going to be cooking in a crock pot. Now, a crock pot, as a matter of fact, this crock pot I have had for about 30 years and it has really uh, done done well. Uh, this crock pot here, uh, it cooks the food slowly. OK, it doesn't rush it. And so you don't worry about your food burning. As a matter of fact, this is very good for somebody just starting out cooking. Get you a crock pot and just put your stuff in there, put it on slow cook, and just let it go. Let's get started, first of all, with our black eyed peas. Now, I have filled the crock pot up with about, uh, it's, it's half full of water, all right? So go half, half full with water, and now I want you to take those peas, son, okay. and I want you to put them on in the crock pot. Go right ahead. Okay, all right, go ahead, go on, put them all in there. No peas left behind. Yeah. All right, good, Empty. good, good. Fantastic. Now, I want you to put your uh, smoked turkey sausage in there. Okay. Okay, don't, don't splash it. Yeah, yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah. There you go. Great. Now. This is what we're going to do. I have two types of onions. I have the green onions and the uh, Vidalia onions, all right? And they both have, have a unique flavor. So I want you to add first the uh, Vidalia onions. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. And now the green onions. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Great. Great. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to add some Worcestershire sauce. And so pour that Worcestershire sauce right in there. All right, great. That is going to help enhance that flavor, give it a richness to the taste. And now, 
Uh, one of my favorites is garlic powder. Put that garlic powder in there, son. All right, excellent, excellent. And now we've got a little black pepper. Sprinkle it in there. And a little crushed red pepper, all right. Okay, excellent. And now we're gonna top it off with some sea salt. And that is going to complete the preparation of these peas here. All right, that's good, good. Now, with that in mind, I want you to take that spoon and I want you to just stir it up a little bit. Stir it up in there a little bit. Just stir it up a little down there with the peas, excellent. All right, that's good, that's good. Now for the complete recipe on the black eyed peas, go to the description section and click show more and you'll have all the uh, proper measurements as far as the ingredients that go along with the peas. All right, Skillet, man, we're ready to serve. Yeah. I need you to get that crock pot back there and bring those cooked peas out here. All I'm right. going to set our plate up here and man, we're getting ready to eat. Yeah. All man. right. Oh my, my, my. Bring them here, boy. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh, look <laughs> that look. Mmm. Mmm. It even smell like a new year. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Now, that's what I'm talking about, good black eyed peas. Yeah. All right, son. Uh, now, how can you have black eyed peas without cornbread? <laughs> skillet. Go get the skillet, man. Let's go. Yeah, I got a surprise for you. Not only did I make black eyed peas, but, well, my mom used to make crackling cornbread, and and uh, it would be cornbread with uh, pork cracklings in it. So, of course, again, with a health focus, I decided, well, let's try something different. So, I took some of the same turkey sausage, and I sauteed it with onions, and ooh, my, 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 now that's what I'm talking about. Uh, now, this is, my twist on uh, crackling cornbread. And so I just took the turkey sausage, sauteed it, and added it in with the mixture of buttermilk cornbread. And so now we're getting ready to uh, fix us a plate, son. Woo! All right, you ready? Yeah. All right. So let's get us some peas in here. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm mm, mm. all right. Cut down. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, it's nice and Ooh. crispy. My goodness. Mm. Mm. Y'all, this this gonna be some good eating. That's crying. Yeah, my 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 my. <laughs> Woo! This is what I'm talking about. Good Southern Ooh. eating. Mm. Black eyed peas and corn, peas and cornbread, peas, peas and, and cornbread. cornbread. Yeah. Oh, peas this and is. Cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, this is what we're gonna do. All right, now we we've had these wonderful ingredients to put together to make this this beautiful meal, a simple mm. meal, peas and cornbread. But let me tell you, you'll sleep good that night. Yeah. Now. Let's make a greater focus on the recipe for an abundant life. You know, it was Jesus that said that uh, I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Well, I have a little recipe for abundant life that I want to share with you. So let me get my Bible here. There are five things that I want to talk about today that are the recipe for good living, all right? And we are just going to look briefly at these uh, scriptures, and then we're gonna eat, because that cornbread is sure smelling good. Now, first and foremost, when you're starting your year off, always keep in mind the most important thing that we should be doing is, as Jesus said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Well, not only that, do you not know that when we seek God, when we seek to do his will, when we study his word, when we grow in his word and we develop into the servants that he desires us to be, why God is pleased and we will find ourselves deep in his grace. 
in Hebrews 11 and 6, it says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh unto God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And so, first and foremost, start your year off diligently seeking God. All right. Now, now the next thing in, in your recipe is prayer. Not only pray, but pray effectively. Now, I want to take you to a scripture over in the book of James. And it's James chapter 4 and beginning around verse number 2. James says, you do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask amiss that you may spend it on your pleasures. And that is the one thing that we need to avoid. Make sure that as you're praying this year, don't just pray a selfish prayer. Pray for the things that, hey, if, if you're praying that God gets you back in shape, Pray that God gets you back in shape, not just to look good in your suit or in your dress, not just to feel good about yourself, but also for God to use you this year to the best of your ability. Now, uh, not only do we seek and we pray, but forgive. Now, in the book of Mark, Jesus speaks to us about forgiveness. And that's one of the biggest problems that people have. You go through the year and you're going to go through struggles. You're going to go through trials with people. And many times you, by the end of the year, you've had some run-ins with a lot of people and you have not yet forgiven them for some things that maybe you felt that they did against you. This year, start your year off with some forgiveness. Now in, the, in Mark chapter 11 and beginning around verse number 25, Jesus says, and whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, now remember, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, that your Father in heaven may also forgive you of your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. The fourth ingredient is a very important ingredient and possibly the most important ingredient, and that is love. Love, genuinely. You know, you hear people talking about, I love you. Well, love is not only words. I mean, the words sound good. I love to hear my wife or my children to tell me, hey, we love you, but show me your love. You want to express your love in your actions. Now, we also find here in 1 Corinthians and chapter 13, where Paul addresses love. Now, listen to what he says right here at verse number four uh, through verse number six of 1 Corinthians 13. He says, love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, it does not behave rudely, does not seek its own. Love is not provoked. Love thinks no evil, uh, and, uh, and it does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. So if you really love somebody, take these things to heart. And remember, if you, if you love them, show them through your godly actions. Now, finally, after considering seeking the Lord and praying, uh, seeking the Lord diligently and praying effectively and forgiving, well, you're going to love genuinely, but after you've gotten all those ingredients together, you want to season your ingredients. Guess what? Season them with salt. You know, spirituality is high in sodium. That's the only time that you can use a lot of salt in your spiritual walk with God. Now in the book of Matthew, now listen to what the Lord says in Matthew chapter five, beginning at verse number 13. Jesus says that you are the salt of the earth. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how should it be seasoned? 
it is not then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. So here we go. We're going to seek the Lord diligently. We're going to pray effectively. We're going to forgive those that we feel have hurt us. We're going to love genuinely. And then we're going to season our lives and season our words with salt. Now, this is your recipe for an abundant life this year. Those peas are really smelling good. Sure. Son, you want to try them out? Yes. All right, dig into those peas. Mm. Tell me. Mm. Get you some of that crumbled up cornbread there. Hmm. You see where I come from, you know, we, we don't eat pretty. We just mix the cornbread all up in it anyway. Mm. I'm Brother Baines, the Gospel Gourmet, and I got my son Skillin here with me. Yeah. Old oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Can I get a witness up in here? All right. So yeah. Can I get a witness? Won't you taste and see? I'm preaching in the kitchen, come on in and join me Come and join me Preaching in the kitchen, can I get a witness? Can I get a witness up in here? Yeah Hi, I'm Brother Tim Smith with the Inner City Church of Christ in Huntsville, Alabama And you are watching the Church TV Network!